Hi guys, how's it going today? So, today's video is about how much do you need to travel? For a short journey, for a long journey, how much do you need? So I have written down 15 questions. Now, if you do your own research and you answer these questions properly, this will give you a really good idea of how much you will need to go traveling. Question number one. How are you planning on getting to your destination? Question number two. Now you've picked the mode of transport, how much is that mode of transport? If you picked plane, how much is your airfare? Are you going to take a bag? Are you not taking a bag? Are you driving there? Are you driving across countries? How much is fuel in each of them countries? How does the insurance work? Do you need separate insurance for every single country? What happens if you break down? Are you cycling? How much are spare tires along the way? Question number three, how long are you planning on staying for? How long do you wanna be in this country? Is it gonna be three days, three weeks, three years? How long are you gonna be there? Question four, how much is your accommodation? Is it gonna be short term? Are you looking for a short term hotel deal? Are you looking for a long term deal? Are you looking to actually like sign a lease and stay for a long period of time? Are you looking at hostels? Some hostels are cheaper if you are there for a long period of time. Are you staying with friends or family for free? Or are you gonna be paying them a little bit of money towards your stay? Question five, do you want to purchase insurance for your trip? So many factors in this. Are you gonna be doing sort of dangerous activities? Does your insurance policy cover you working abroad? Do your research and find the best policy you can. Question six, is there any specific activities you want to do while you're there? Do you want to go skydiving? Do you want to go whitewater rafting? Do you want to do a bungee jump? Do you want to visit Disneyland? What activities do you want to do? Is there any specific ones you can think off the top of your head that you can write down and be like, right, I definitely want to do this. I definitely want to do that so you can incorporate that into your budget. Question seven, how will you get around once you're there and how much will it cost? Are you going there to buy a car? Are you going there to rent a car? Are you going there to buy a bicycle? Are you gonna walk everywhere? Are you gonna take public transport? Are you going to Australia? Are you gonna be doing internal flights? Are you gonna be doing long bus journeys? Question eight, how much is it gonna cost from the airport to your accommodation and do you need to come back to the airport as well when you're leaving is there buses is there trains is the only option a taxi can you walk is it close to the city how much money will you need for an average day for food and drink how much do you eat are you a big drinker do you drink a lot of alcohol do you really love fast food or do you really love eating in fancy restaurants so for this, basically, you can do your own research. Onto Google, there's loads of blog posts about this. There's loads of information for pretty much every single country in the world of how much food items cost. Pick things that you can relate to. So if you eat a lot of fast food, how much is a Big Mac compared to your Big Macs where you're from? Find out what supermarkets there are in the country. You can go onto their websites and you can find out certain things. Like you can find out how much a loaf of bread is, how much a pint of milk is, how much a bottle of beer is. You can find out certain stuff and you can sort of get a comparison in your head. Then you can sort of figure out a daily budget for yourself. Question 10. Do you need a visa for the country you are traveling to? And how much does it cost? How much would an extension on that visa be? Can you work on the visa? How long is the visa for? For example, if I was going to Australia and I wanted to do a working holiday visa, which is valid for one year, and I'm only planning on going there for 30 days, but I think I might get a job for a few days in between, then the cost of the visa is probably not gonna be worth what you're gonna make while you're working there. Question 11. Do you need any vaccinations before you go? So if the vaccinations are gonna cost you a lot of money and you're only gonna be traveling there for a few days, then is it gonna be worth your while? Question 12, will you need to buy medication while you are there? For example, if you are say diabetic and you lose your insulin, how much will it cost to purchase more insulin? In that case, you're probably gonna to want to be covered by insurance. 
And for example, I have a friend called Nick in New Zealand who is diabetic. He is there on a working holiday visa. Now, when he was back in the UK, he could get his insulin on the NHS for free. But now he's in New Zealand, he has to pay for that. And it's expensive. Question 13. What are you going there for? What are you going traveling for? Are you going there for a big party? Are you going there to do loads of activities? Are you going there to work? Are you going there to see the sights? Are you going there to try and travel everywhere for as cheaply as possible? For example, if you're going to Koh Panyang for the full moon party, you're going to be spending a lot of money on alcohol. If you're going to Queenstown in New Zealand, you're going to be wanting to do as many activities as you can. If you're going to a lot of national parks, you're probably going to be doing a lot of walking, which isn't going to be expensive. Question 14. How will you access your money abroad? If you're going for a short period of time, are you just going to use the ATMs? And how much is the fee going to be for using the ATMs? Can you get away with just withdrawing one lump sum from the ATM for your whole trip instead of doing small amounts and incurring a high amount of fees? Are you going on a work and holiday visa? Will you open a bank account when you get there and then transfer your money from your home country to the working holiday country that you'll be in? How much is your bank charging for international transfers? Question 15. Are you planning on staying in one place or are you planning on moving around? If you're planning on staying in one place then you'll probably get cheaper accommodation. Are you going to be hopping from one country to another like in Southeast Asia? If so, I recommend redoing all these questions for each country that you visit. So all of these questions require you to do your own research and it's going to be quite a lot of research but Hopefully these questions, some of these you may not have thought about or may not have incorporated into your budget. I kind of gave you these questions so you can go through them by yourself, one by one, do your research, answer the questions, and at the end of all these questions, you're going to have quite a good budget built up. You're going to want a contingency budget, which means you're going to want a little bit more money than you plan for. Because things happen along the road, activities come up that you want to do, and certain stuff will just happen. That's what happens when you travel. So always budget more than you think you're going to need. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe down below 